when the first thing you know about someone is that they've been convicted of a crime, it's the first thing that fades into the background once you get to know them as a person. And I just think, you know, we don't know what our students are in for and we don't care because they're people, they're these brilliant minds, um, they're these aspiring writers and thinkers. This class is more of a community. It's an inside out class, so there are uh, about 10 outside students who are us, and then 10 inside students who are the incarcerated men in MCI Concord. Yes, it's a literature class. We go in, we talk about our readings, um, but it's also a lot more than that. Uh, we create friendships and really get to know each other and change each other's lives, and I think that that's like the best part of the class, definitely. The two groups come together to create a full class and discuss literature each week and get to know each other and really, I think, open up a whole new perspective of, you know, what these systems of oppression are like, what our justice system is like, and really understand firsthand um, the people who are affected by that every single day. It was my biggest fear going in that we wouldn't be able to find something to talk about, something that we could both relate to. Uh, and I was really surprised at how much we had in common. Uh, yet at the same time, how different our lives had developed. I guess just my initial feeling was just like, so uncertain of everything and of like, what the experience would bring. I mean, I had no idea what to expect. This was the most and powerful class I'd ever taken the Tufts. Opportunity to meet people and to be able to sympathize them and understand their point of view, sympathize with them, I guess one might say. This opportunity to take this class struck out to me immediately as the first time that I would be at Tufts and really be able to genuinely learn rather than just write an essay for a class or memorize numbers or whatever on a note cards to get a grade. I felt like this was the first opportunity for me to really critically think about literally everything. I realized that it wasn't hypothetical and that these, this was the reality and these are the lives of our inside students and it just really brought to life something that seemed really abstract to me. It's not so abstract. It's, it's more of a putting a face and a name on a stat, which I think was really impactful for me. we're inside our classroom in the prison, it's like this oasis, um, in a way, this like safe space where we can all be together and learn and um, create community and make art and just, that is such a rare and special thing. Um, and we're still reminded, you know, of where we are, um, but it still takes you out of it in a way. Everyone has a way of connecting with text, um, and I think that how you read something really reveals what you're thinking about and what you care about. And I think that um, seeing everyone's different opinions, what you might agree on or disagree on, really can bring people together and um, reveal something about them that maybe um, small talk or icebreakers wouldn't be close to getting at. I think my favorite part of the class is the small group discussions. It just gives you an opportunity to get to know people um, and have really personal conversations with them on something that you otherwise might not have had the opportunity to talk to them about. And it's the part of the class where I think the learning really extends beyond the reading and beyond the assignments into learning from each other as people. I had a moment, I think two or three weeks ago, my parents came and visited, and I had a moment with Shane, who's one of the inside students, and we were talking about family, and I just was saying how I don't get to see my family that often, and so it was really great that they were here for the whole weekend, and I had my schedule, and it was a whole thing. And Shane said, I can't wait to see my family. And then he said, I take it back. I'm not sure if I'll be able to see my family again. So if I see my family again, I can't wait. I think that was just like a moment for me. One moment that I remember was when I was 
sitting in the circle when we were all talking about, I don't even remember what the reading was, and Nathaniel, who was one of the inside students, turned to me and started like whispering something really funny to me. I don't even remember what it was, but it was definitely not on top of with the reading and goofy, and it just made both of us chuckle. And it struck me that, of, I mean, of course, like these things will happen. We're classmates, like that's what happens. And to see that like genuine connection exist made this experience like invaluable. And it's it's like sparks in moments like those that years and years after I graduate from Tufts, I'll like hold on to and remember forever. Hearing about their educational experience was experiences before being incarcerated were so powerful because, uh, for example, one student, you know, David, he talked about um, how he got expelled from his school for having too many absences. And then he got sent to an alternative school where he really struggled, couldn't really focus, um, and, you know, sort of things didn't go well from there. And I just remember thinking if anyone ever asked, you know, why he was absent from school so many times, you know, was it because he didn't care? Or was it because he couldn't get to school? Was it because he had to work or take care of a family member? Um, and it just makes me think about how the education system is set up to fail people. I believe, though, that education has this power to inform and create and build community. And I believe that like education is the answer to all of our world's problems. Like They can all be solved through education, through understanding, through empathy. I mean, after talking to them, um, we were really made aware of how prison hardens them and kind of takes away this part of themselves, but having some an outlet like the class or just writing and being able to stay in touch with their emotions is really helpful and I think it just um, is really important to them and it gives them something to look forward to. With education comes power and once the inside students have this education and the knowledge and learn from what we discuss in class, they can have the power to, you know, rehabilitate themselves and go on outside of just living after their sentence to kind of make a change in the world and give them something that they wouldn't have had from their schooling before prison. The themes that come up with this text like relationships and capitalism and love and pain and um, family and I think that through connecting in the way of education it's really um, almost secretly and like under the rug been opening us to all these larger things within ourselves too so um, so many of them talk about how this is the most meaningful thing in their life right now. It helps get their head out of, you know, being incarcerated in prison and sort of having something to look forward to, to make something of themselves. It gives them so much value. And they're all so insightful and so brilliant. Um, every single class, I'm, I'm constantly quoting things that they say because they're so smart. And I think for me, so much of the learning is just being with them and hearing from them. And I think... Um, that's the true value of education, is being able to learn from others. Education makes change. Education is powerful. Education is how we grow as people and how we as a society will grow.